All right, welcome back everybody. We are in the ghetto of our hometown right now, getting some taco truck and we're gonna go out and train Kelly today. I'm excited about this session because it is intro to gunfire. And last time I did a series with Rocky when he was getting older, we were doing stuff um, that it was just kind of random how I videoed it, but doing it once now, I kind of learned how I like to do it. And I like to show a lot more. I've been showing a lot more to you guys than I normally did before in that last series. So we're gonna do intro to gunfire and that's basically gonna be it for this video. A lot of people never, I don't think they ever actually seen that series, like part of the video with Rocky. Um, so this is this should help a lot of people. And let me tell you something, if you have an older dog that is gun shy, you can use the same method to bring him back around and help him not to be that way. So today I'm with Morgan and Nathaniel's over there. We're getting some taco truck. We'll, we'll let you guys see a little bit of that. And there's Kelly girl. How you doing girl? Oh, and another thing, we gotta share, I'm gonna share some clips with you real quick. Pretty scary deal. Kelly actually got, I'm not gonna say stolen, but she got picked up. I guess she had ran out in the road. They, Jake and them kind of live in the country. They picked them dog up and took him. And Jake said he was only in the house for like 10 minutes. Anyways, it was a horrible deal. I went over there. We were driving all over the place looking for her for a long time. Nathaniel was crushed. Everybody was crushed. The whole family it was sickening. You know, Nathaniel worked all summer to get get Kelly and pay for it because, you know, labs ain't cheap here in California. And uh, registered, you know, AKC. So anyways, that evening they found her. And here's a little clip from that video. Mind you, Nathaniel, how long was Kelly missing? From like what time to what time? 2.30. 2 when did I, when did we call you? Uh, well, about right then when we lost The baseball game started at six. So it was like so 7.38. 7.30, yeah. 7.30, yeah. So that was crazy. Some lady had him, but I'll show a little clip from that video of them getting Kelly back. I got a lady had her. Your mama did. Your mama found her. She's like, thank God. Oh, my God. Sarah, Tamara and Sarah found her. Tamara kept telling me to get on that app. As soon as I pulled it up, she was there. Tamara uh, owed some cash. Well, no. It's the app where we found Willow at. Yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. <laughs> I'll take the reward money, Jay. What do we got here? Some uh, Burrito Supremes. Burrito Supremes from the El Taco truck. Most people don't know outside of California what these are, but they're pretty bomb. Some people call them the Roach Coach. So we'll let you guys see what we got here, and then we're going to do some training. Morgan's going to be shooting the gun uh, with blanks for us today. There it is, a side of burrito. You have any problem with getting things going? Just eat one of those bad boys, <laughs> Sarita. We might be using your. <laughs> this guy right here, just a little sour cream, rice, beans, cilantro, onions. I'm jealous. So we're gonna eat lunch real quick, and then we'll get to the intro with gunfire. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't for all these training videos. I really think this is gonna help a lot of people because I'm trying to be better and more detailed this time than when I did it first time. Kelly, sit. Sit. Kelly, come here, you big. How much did you say she weighs now? Thir about 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Girl, you almost got lost. Yeah. I'm looking terrible. Mm -hmm. Get it big. Set. Coat looks good. Shiny. I haven't given her a bath in a long time. She needs more. She stinks. <laughs> yeah, you stink. Alright, let's get started. Grab those blanks. You can get any brand, obviously, but these is what I had from Rocky when he was a pup. These are uh, Fiocchi blanks, and I'll show what they look like. But you can only load one at a time. You can't like, you know, put two yeah. one in the chain because they, they're short. This is this brand. Uh, Gun Dog Supply sells some too. But they're 12 gauge, two and three quarter. And they sound pretty close to a real shotgun. 
just nice when you're in your summer like this where there's actually other houses in, in the vicinity. Not that it would reach, but just makes you feel a little bit better. What we're gonna do is have uh, Morgan stay back here by this fence as far away as possible. And we're gonna go all the way over by that fence and I'll show you what's what we're gonna do next. But we're gonna have a big difference between us. I, I would have liked a little bit more. That's probably 150, 175 yards between us. So I'll walk you guys through it. We'll see how Kelly does. Look away. <laughs> Look away. What are you doing over there? Hmm? She's in good shape. All right, guys. So this is where Nathaniel's going to throw the bumpers, like right here. So probably, I don't know, 20 yards. So there's him, Kelly. She's ready. Remember guys, do not do steadiness. People want to do think it's such a great thing to get their puppy to be steady, but that's not what you want to do. You want to make it fun for them and not work to go get a bumper. We got Morgan back there, like I said. I was wishing and hoping we could have a little bit farther, but that's still pretty far. But he's back there with the blanks and his 12 gauge. And I'm gonna go show you basically what he's gonna do is in mid arc, when he tosses that bumper, Morgan is gonna throw it or Nathaniel's gonna throw the bumper when it's in mid arc. Morgan is gonna shoot his gun. She should already be focused on the bumper and not worried about what's going on behind her. So we'll just see her reaction. They're gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay off to your side, okay? okay. <clears throat> so kind of start with her at your side, but don't steady her. Like okay. you can let her run it. You can let her run it for it. Mark. Kelly. Go get it, Kelly. Good girl. Good girl, Kelly. Come here. Good girl, get it. Kelly, fetch it up. Kelly, get it, Kelly. Chasing that one around. Kelly, hey, hey, Mark. Throw Mark. it up high, though. Kelly, go get it, Kelly. Good girl. Good She's girl, not even Kelly. Flinching. Go get it. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Kelly, go get it. Nope. She ain't gonna do it. So she didn't react at all. We kind of did it twice. Hopefully I caught that good. I'll tell you when to stop, Morgan. So we're gonna move Morgan in closer. This is a new place and when I've learned with Rocky, when we went to new places, he did get distracted pretty easy. But uh, what we're gonna do is Nathaniel's not gonna try to say nothing. When he throws it, he's gonna say her name, not say nothing else until she picks it up. Then he's gonna clap his hands, get her attention, and get her to come back to him. That's, that's probably good. All right, you ready? You ready? Hey. Kelly! See, she didn't flinch at all. Good girl, Kelly. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Oh, you didn't get it all. That's all right. That's all right. Good girl. We're doing intro to gunfire. We don't won't be picky on that stuff. That's where the other train comes in later, but. Go ahead and move a little closer. And you don't have to make her sit, dude, if you don't want, if she, it's if she stays more active. So Nathan, Morgan's going to keep moving in. Try to wait just a hair longer, sorry. As she, as you see her, now that you're close, when you see her take off, then shoot it. She didn't flinch at all, though. All right, whenever you're ready, when you guys are ready. Okay. Ready, Morgan? You can put the rope down. She, hey, hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. She's not even budging. Good girl. Hey, come here. Good girl, Kelly. She's doing awesome. Good girl. Good girl, Kelly. Yep, I, I think that made a huge difference. That might have been distracting her, you saying her name before she, you know what I mean? Yeah, so let them, don't re reward them and t give them praise until they do what they're supposed to do. All right, you move in. So we're getting close and uh, Morgan's only about, he was about 50, 60 yards on that shot. She didn't even, it didn't even phase her. I'm telling you, this is about as loud as a shotgun, huh? Yeah. It's pretty loud. Let's try that right there. So he's probably only 20 yards and we're gonna work him up all the way till he's standing right next to Nathaniel. And I'm trying to not distract her, but I'm trying to see how she reacts. Whenever you guys are ready. Kelly. Good girl. Good girl, come here Kelly. Come here, good girl. 
Good girl, Kelly. Come here. Good girl. Yep. Good girl. It's not even phasing her at all. Cool. And that's hey, loud. It's too. super loud. Try to hair her later. Once she takes off, then shoot, okay? That might have been squish. It's not affecting her, but I just don't want her to be thinking about that. Okay, one more. The thing is at this age, guys, you don't want to wear them. I know everybody wants to toss their puppy bumpers and get them to fetch and fetch and fetch, but you don't want, they can get worn out a little bit at this age, so you don't want to overdo it. Three tosses max, and that's what I told them. I know we all want to do that. I'm like, yeah, they won't pick up no more. It's like, well, how many times did you toss a bumper to him? Oh, like 15. It's like, puppies are, they're babies. They're, they get distracted just like a little kid does, so you can't overdo that. So now, we got Morgan standing literally right next to Nathaniel. You guys just stand next to each other. Have Kelly on your left side, kind of. Let her get out there like halfway to the bumper before you shoot, okay? I'm gonna be off to you guys' side. You guys ready? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Kelly! She didn't even phase her. That was loud, guys. It's every bit as loud as a shotgun. That's all right. That's all right. She hasn't learned that part yet. Good job. That was awesome. Super good. I didn't phase her one bit. Yeah. Didn't phase her one bit. They got wonder why she was messing up at the beginning. You were like, as soon as you would toss yeah. it and say, Kelly, you were like, good girl, good job. And so she's already wanting to kind of almost come back to you uh -huh. before she did anything. So yeah. That's, that worked so much better. See, she's still kind of wanting to play with it. But see, what we want to do now is leave her wanting. Like, yeah. she wants to do more? No, cut it off. Cause then that gives her more energy for next time. Uh -huh. She did really good, honestly. Really good. She never oh, even like flinched or turned back and looked. I, I mean, part of, part of when you're training a pup, you wanna do more. Like right now, I wanna do it one more time with him standing right there. But it's, this is something you don't have to get all done in one day. That point is getting her exposed to that loud noise. Now, if you were right here and he, she had never heard that sound and he put that in and did it right now, it'd probably freak her out. Yeah, probably. And then you have a gun shy dog, you know? That is not what, you don't want that. I used to have Ro Rocky, I would take him in his little crate and then I would have him on the uh, refuge. So he was hearing those shots go off all day in the refuge in his crate. Oh yeah. You know, when, when he was a, her age. So he was used to hearing those sounds and then coming into this. I don't think she has much, but it don't bother at all. Cause as long as you do it the proper way, I can't imagine having a gun shy dog. That would not be a big, a good deal. Give this video a thumbs up, guys, if this helped you. And if you're enjoying this process, seeing Kelly grow up again, this is my male dog's Rocky, his one of his, his second litter pup, a female Kelly. So she's doing great. She's definitely got drive. I can't wait to see what she does. So stay tuned for the next one. We're going to have multiple part series. This is, I think this is part four, if I remember right. So if you guys haven't seen, this is the first one you've seen. You can go back and watch part one, two, and three. See you guys on the next one.